just try to with them. This is that deck. The carbon fiber custom made. It is that board. The beast. 10 videos are already available on my channel. Step by step, how I've built it, what parts I've used, and how to put it all together. A very important part about building a custom electrical skateboard is planning. Planning, taking your time, and make it everything nice, neat, and matching. The video today will be about the custom made VS VESC, an electronics enclosure. And this is what you see in the front of you. Very neat cables, very neat. The box itself, I believe, is looking perfect. It's matching the board, it's not looking too heavy, it's looking clean. Only what you need is on the board, which is the power switch and the power connection. That's all you need. The secret to the clean look is trying to get the enclosure, which is as small as possible, but still safe for your electronics. In this case here, I've got space between the enclosure and the deck to get rid of my heat, but the rest is in this video so take a look guys hello guys and welcome back to my channel Powell here again and another video too much advice is probably better than no advice at all so I'm about to start working on all the electronics for my new off-road DIY carbon fiber edition off-road board if you have not seen other videos as yet, guys, take a look. This is probably the 10th or the 11th video in the series of the Beast videos or the Beast on the Leash. I show you how to make your own deck, how to make it real carbon fiber, uh, how to install the trucks, the motors, how to get the proper belts, how to assemble everything, how to customize the 218 millimeter uh, torque board uh, trucks to fit the AT. Evolve kit which I'm using because it's really cheap. I bought it on eBay uh, for about 85 pounds. Can go wrong with all the pulleys and bearings, so that is the best deal I've found. Uh, so this one is about all electronics and especially how to organize your enclosure on a large off-road board. As you guys know, you will normally have two enclosures: one for your battery and one for your electronics, such as VESC. Uh, the remote receiver and transmitter and uh, switch on buttons and the rest so this one here is about the VESC enclosure and all the bits that go inside it's very important to plan what do you actually want performance wise and also how do you want your board to look like when you get all your parts selected then you start looking into getting the board looking pretty one of the parts that you will need is the enclosure. I don't like them big boxy case looking type of enclosures. I want something with more shape. So I found one of these. It's going to be quite tight fit, but if it does work, it's going to look awesome. So next thing you do is you plan how you want the enclosure look on your deck. I was thinking it this way, maybe this way. Doesn't really matter. Both ways looks a bit... Uh, different than any other enclosures out there which i like a lot most importantly after you kind of decided roughly what you're after you make sure you got access to all your screws making sure that you will be able later uh, close your enclosure as you can see i'm just missing uh, the deck with the uh, holes right here which is quite nice i'm lucky on that front i didn't plan that it just happened this way which is quite nice um, next thing is you get your biggest part which in my case uh, is the uh, flip sky 6.6 uh, 200 amp VESC that's the biggest part that needs to go in so you mount it in there just dry looking around how much space you've got how the cable is going to fold without uh, kinking 90 degrees without touching anything without blowing anything up so you kind of dry fit it you try the cover on you see if there's any space you will also put your remote uh, transmitter 
and you kind of think okay maybe I'll double side tape it right here what about the connector will the connector fit after I plug it in so you kind of play around with it see how you can position bits around the enclosure obviously the smaller is the enclosure the nice is going to look how about the switch button will it fit so what I've done before this video I actually stuck everything that will be inside the enclosure which is the switch uh, the transmitter uh, the vesk itself the cables always thought about space required for the connectors that have to be inside here as well and then I close the cover and luckily to me uh, everything fits but now it's time to assemble the whole lot one of the most important parts to me is how this board going to look like after it's all put together especially the cables I kind of like the aggressive look of cables kind of coming out and over into the motors plus it gives enough meat on the, on the cables for the trucks to move aggressively left and right you don't want them too long because you don't want cables hitting the wheels so I thought to myself that I will most likely going to turn my enclosure this way right like here and when I install the sides for the enclosure the cables could turn in and come out of the side because the cables and the motors are quite long so you need to think to yourself how is it all going to look like so do you leave the connection last connection external meaning the VESC uh, cables actually go through the cover it's better because less space is required inside the cover but at the same time I don't like cutting cables shorter from the manufacturer's uh, point of view and uh, I'm going to leave them as they are probably too long if I come out with the cable through the casing and have a connect external that's a bit too much however if I go straight through and have a connect inside have my cables spaced out nice and neatly that might look quite nice I think it's going to look like a spider three this way three this way that is quite nice I also have to think about the position of the on and off button which is I don't have that much left for it probably here somewhere okay something like that anyway guys you get the idea of how you plan out your enclosure first don't start drilling holes and gluing everything down and I think I got a plan and one other or one last thing I would like to mention before I move on to the next step of this video is you have to think how are you going to make sure that your VESC does not overheat this VESC here does come with a very massive uh, heat sink this is brilliant but if I will just stick it inside the enclosure and I want this board to be splash proof or almost waterproof I'm going to do up all the seals so no water can get inside the electronics compartment the heat even though there is a heat sink not going to escape so I'm thinking to myself straight away that I'm going to alter or DIY this case a little bit by cutting out the bottom and actually introducing the heat sink out to the atmosphere I will also going to lift this enclosure away from the deck just probably by two three mil this way the air will travel across the deck underneath the enclosure and it will take the heat away from the heat sink I'm planning to run this board at 65 to 75 amp on each motor so probably reaching about 150 amp on the peak this vest can take up to 200 so it's not a problem but the heat generated will probably be quite dramatic so here we go that is the plan now let's put this plan in motion so guys hopefully you get the idea it's all about thinking planning don't rush think how you want it to look like how is it going to look like how all the cables will fold in and also think about future think about maintenance think about what if something goes wrong you need to take stuff apart will you be able to get to all the parts will you be able to take them out without breaking without smashing the glue up and everything else so I'm not going to bore you to death with actually building it all on the video I will do what I need to do assemble 
the enclosure and I will show you the final result. So you will see how my plan and my words came into life and how is it going to look like after I'm done. So guys, a few hours later, this is what we got so far. I've got all the cables drilled through. My power cables to the uh, mortars will be coming out on the sides, just like this. Like a little spider, it's going to look quite cool. Everything fits. The power button is installed. Please don't forget to use the blue block on the thread, otherwise it will be becoming loose. Most importantly, I have altered the enclosure and now the heat sink on the desk protruding through the case. So when I'm traveling and the enclosure is away from the deck, the air will be taking away all the heat. I think that did come out quite neatly actually. Very nice. Overnight I'm going to seal all the way around the uh, heat sink with a clear silicone. Nice and neat. So there's no water will be going through. Very nice. I know it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but trust me, when I'm done, it'll be awesome. So, let's carry on. There we go. We got ourselves a nice, strong connection on the 10 gauge cable. So before I will mount uh, the enclosure onto the deck, I would like to show you uh, the bottom. For starters, quite neat. Everything is uh, installed. The vest is not going to go anywhere. It's fixed down. I've also cut out the clear uh, shrink wrap that comes from the factory with every vest around the motor sensors and also the ports that I will require to set up the vest. Uh, most importantly, what I want to show you, because I'll show you the internals one more time, is the back of the or back of the enclosure. So now, uh, the heat sink on the vest is fully sealed all the way around with uh, the clear silicone. So there's no water ingress into electronics at all from underneath. You won't see this part again, but I think the idea is really, really good. It looks neat. And also, all the heat will be getting out of this enclosure, and I can push this board much, much harder. So now it's time to fix this onto the deck. So I have decided to fix the um, EC enclosure uh, through the enclosure itself, and drill two holes into my deck as small as possible. So idea is, uh, you get the bolt to go underneath and stick it down. Uh, one thing I have to do is come up with a spacer. So I was trying different ideas, uh, some washes uh, with the rubber uh, gaskets kind of things, just to space it up, but then it was moving about, didn't like it. I was trying to exhaust the idea of using, let's say, uh, bushings that I'm not going to use, which is quite cool. That's a quite a good idea, actually. It's quite sturdy. Uh, it's blue. I like glue, I'm gonna have a bit of glue on the board. So yeah, didn't like it as well because of the shape of it. So what I'm doing, I got some uh, really thick rubber, which is used for like pumps, anti-vibration. You can buy them online, very cheap. So I'm going to cut two strips across to give me space underneath the vest enclosure for the heat to get out, but at the same time give it a bit of uh, stability when I tighten it up. So using the rubber strips did help me and the enclosure is nice and steady. It still fit dry so let me show you how everything fits in. So every single part required is actually now inside the enclosure. The cables for the mortise, the transmitter, the power switch, you also got your adapters uh, for the uh, 
motor sensors yeah very happy with how she did come out very excited to try this board next step programming the VESC so if you guys want to learn how to program the Flipsky 6.6 .6 Plus or any other VESC stick around guys I hope you liked the video if you did hit the like button and by the way did you know about that annoying little alarm bell or bell type of little sign well I didn't but someone mentioned to me that now on YouTube if you would like to see my videos besides subscribing and after you subscribe you get that little bell you have to hit that if you don't you will randomly get my videos or notifications for my new videos if you do you'll get notification every time I will upload a new video so if you like my videos which I hope you do that's why you subscribed hit that bell but anyway whatever you're doing DIY skateboards helicopters airplanes bicycles electrical bicycles whatever not whatever you're doing do it safely and ride safely fly safely see you soon